Hey everyone, Aaron with Front Row Negative, back with another unboxing. This time it is the Gundam Life Crate. Uh, I actually pre-ordered this back in January when it was first announced. I'm a fan of Gundam, not this series, but just mainly the robots uh, and the mechs and everything. But uh, I saw this, wanted to get it, pre-ordered it. It is now May and this finally arrived. So let's see what's inside as I open this up. So, I am a fan of Gundam. I'll play, we'll take it back. I'm a fan of the robots. I enjoy playing the games. I enjoy building the models. I barely have watched the shows. I'm not gonna lie. I barely have watched any of the shows. I just love the art of Gundam. So I got this. There we go, there's the box, there's that. Flip it open, what do we have? So, Oh, that already fell that fell down. So first off, what fell out is this. Now this is Loot Crate XXXG 00WO Wing Gundam Zero sculpted mug. Now I could be wrong, but didn't another Loot Crate like an anime crate have a Gundam mug in it before? So this isn't the first time that they've, that they've done this. I don't know if it was Wing Zero, it might have been the RX-78. You know, Grandpa Gundam, but I don't think it was Wing Zero. I could be wrong, I don't know. But, here's the mug. Got styrofoam everywhere. Okay, it uh, has a little topper. It's a nice little mug. Uh, proportions are kind of off. It's not symmetrical. Uh, it's nice. Now, I've had a character mug before that's shaped like somebody's head. And the problem is, is that you can't really drink it because it has an inner liner lip. It goes, wraps inside there. So when you go to drink, it gets trapped right there. there there's really no way to drink it unless you have a straw. And to be honest, who drinks coffee with a straw? Not from Starbucks. So, it looks cool, but it's kind of useless. Uh, it's from last year, 2020. <sighs> I guess cool. Okay, next up is, we have a Gundam Sandrock Shield bottle opener. <clears throat> if it's a shield, then it's it's a shield. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's pretty heavy too. So, yeah, here it is. It's pretty heavy. I've got pretty big hands and this fits in the palm. So, that's pretty interesting. And here's the other side. You can see where it connects. Looks like it connects to a magnet through the fridge right there. So if you have a stainless steel fridge like we do, this will fit right in. It'll kind of blend in. And it even has the Gundam insignia right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I already have enough bottle openers from these crate things. So, but that's still pretty cool though. I like that more than the mug. <clears throat> so next up, so we got a t-shirt. It's white. I don't, really, I don't really wear a lot of white t-shirts, but there's the design on it. <clears throat> it's kind of, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's kind of generic. Uh, not really something that looks like it was designed for Loot Crate. It just looks like it was sold at maybe Box Lunch or a, a Hot Topic or even Walmart just because it's a white shirt. This doesn't really feel like a Loot Crate shirt. Um, it's a cool design, don't get me wrong. It's just it doesn't have that extra kind of exclusive design to it. So that's okay. Next up, we have a book. Mobile Suit Gundam Deco Design and Planner Sheet. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna lie, so far I'm not really digging the box. Uh, I was hoping for like a model of some sort, like an exclusive model or something. 
So it looks like we have a coloring book for the different Gundams. Yeah, so you have like, like heavy arms, and then you have wing zero right there. And then, what was that one? Another heavy arms. Yeah, it's it's basically just like a coloring book, Gundam coloring book notepad. And instead of it having the like the the, the thick cardboard backer, it's just the same sheet as the front and back. Uh, cool, I guess. Um, kind of wish they had some of the designs in here that were on the shirt, like the outline, like the the black outline type thing. That would have been pretty. That would, that would have been cooler instead of just a coloring book. We have a pen. Of Oz. That's one of the military factions in Gundam Wing. Uh, that's pretty cool. Do I really want to open it? I mean, from what I gather, Oz is pretty cool. Or Oz is not. Oh, I, I don't know. It depends on if you're a fan. Um, again, I don't know much about Oz. Again, I just mainly look like looking at the, the mechs and the robots. And I play some of the games just to play as a robot. But there is the shiny, shiny pin along with the back. Kind of hard to see, but there's the back. Uh, okay. Interesting. And it looks like we got a hat. And if you know me, I love collecting hats. It looks like it is a dad hat of Gundam Zero on the front. It's white. It's got Gundam Wing on the back. The logo, it's a buckle. Um, it's kind of simple and basic. I don't mind the back. The back embroiderment, actually, the back embroiderment is okay. That's fine. The front just seems kind of basic for like the head. You think that with it had to be more it'd be more symmetrical than it looking off to uh, the right. Well, my right, your left. The stitching is basic. It's not like a it's not like an expensive stitching. I could tell, uh, the, or the embroiderment. It's not like an expensive embroiderment. It's really thin. So I mean, like this one. This one's a patch, but it's got double the uh, embroiderment to keep the patch on. This one just kind of cheapened out. I, I hate to say that, but it's cheap. It's a cheap hat. It may say Gundam on here, may have the Gundam license, but this is a cheap hat. Uh, I'll probably wear it to do like yard work or whatever around the house, uh, just because it's. I know it's not gonna last, uh, but that's it. Uh, it's. And then we have the cheat sheet, which is right here. Give you all a look of that. Boom. Okay. Wing Gundam t-shirt. Exclusive one of four sculpted mug. So there's maybe four different versions of this, or we're getting four more in the next set of crates. Uh, Gunpla planning color sheet notepad. Wing Gundam dad hat. Bottle, uh, Gundam sand rock bottle opener. Organization of Zodiac Oz Pen. And I guess it's one of four, because there's more coming. And I guess same thing with these mugs, there will be three more. Uh, the mugs, I, I can't even, okay. I can't even fit my fingers through the handle. It's, I drink coffee. So whenever I get some of these mugs in these nerd boxes, in, the, in these mystery boxes, I actually do enjoy some of them. I, I do like some of them. This is, the concept is there, the delivery is failing. And my nine to five job, I work on illustrations and concepts for new products that have to get tested out. This is a fail, this is a fail. Looks nice on the shelf, zero practicality to it. So, yeah, mug, fail. Pen, cool, I guess. I'm not a fan of Oz. 
the bottle opener, great. T-shirt, could have been better. Hat, cheap. Coloring book, probably the best item in this box. So thanks for watching. Uh, like the video, subscribe, listen to our podcast. This is Aaron Front Row Negative. I want to know what you're thinking. There are some.